Hi everyone and welcome to the course Basic Beginners FreeCAD for FreeCAD version 1. To install FreeCAD we first need to download it from the freecad.org website. From here we can click download and then select our choice of OS, Windows, Mac or Linux. It's worth understanding what these version numbers actually mean. The first number is the major release. If this number changes it represents big milestone features and changes. The second number is the minor release. If this changes, smaller feature updates that build on the major version will be included. And the last number is the patch. So things such as bug fixes, stability improvements, and small tweaks are usually included, but don't expect new features. It normally just means fixes. Let's start with Windows. There are two installers for Windows, the standard and the portable version. Let's first look at the standard. Select the installer, and this will be downloaded to your computer. Once downloaded, open up the directory. It's just a case of double clicking the exe within. And then the easiest way is to use the defaults. Once finished, it'll be installed on your machine, and a shortcut will be placed on your desktop. Next, the portable installer. This is slightly different. It will come down in an archive. We need to right click and extract all. This will extract it to a directory. Once extracted, we can rename the directory and then search for the executable. This will be in the bin file within and named freecad.exe. We just need to double click it to load the program. It's advisable to make a shortcut or pin the executable to your taskbar. Next, let's have a look at Linux. This will come down as an app image. We select the appropriate app image and download it to our system. Once we have the app image, right click on the download and go to properties. From there, toggle the execute as program. And then we can double click on the app image to open FreeCAD. Last of all, Mac. We select the appropriate download and then allow it. Once it's downloaded, we can open the location and then double click DMG file. We drag FreeCAD to our applications. And this will copy and install it. Once finished, we need to go to our launch pad and click on the free can icon. At first, it will go through a verification process. And then finally, FreeCAD will open. Now we've installed FreeCAD on our system. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to use it. Hope you enjoyed that video and look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.